How to edit duct using isolate objects. AutoCAD offers the ability to isolate objects. In this quick tip, what we're going to do is select just the entities we want to edit, isolate them, change those entities, and then we're going to unisolate. Here what we have is a duct run that's actually running into a beam. And what we're going to do is we're going to highlight just three pieces of duct and the steel beam. Just the objects we want to isolate. And we're going to right click on empty space. Here in your options, you should see the word isolate. Keep in mind I'm using AutoCAD 2011. 2011 and 2012 offer this option. However, if you're using an earlier version, you might not have the isolate command there. Also, if you're using AutoCAD MEP, you might have additional options here like edit and plan or edit and section. Here what we're going to do is look at the three options we have. Isolate objects, hide objects, and end object isolation. Isolate objects is going to do just that. It's going to isolate whatever's highlighted. Hide objects is going to do the opposite and hide whatever we've selected. And end object isolation is how we exit out of these options when we're done making our changes. So we're going to click on isolate objects. Once AutoCAD has isolated these objects, we can do anything we want from rotate the drawing, change visual styles, and most importantly make any edit that we like. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in isometric view. We're going to zoom into it a little bit. And we're going to run a PractiCAD collision detection automatic. And we're going to take a look at what type of change we need to make. I'm going to click on the collision ball. And here you can see it's telling us to drop down three inches to dodge this beam. So what we're going to do is click on the transition. And we're going to say move this from top change negative five to negative eight. We're going to hit enter. The collision ball has disappeared and we've made our edit. And this was easier to do because we didn't have all the other entities in the way. Once we've made that edit, all we need to do now is end object isolation. To do that, we right click on the empty space, go back to isolate, choose end object isolation, and once we click, we're back with all of our entities on the drawing. And that makes it much easier to edit. So that is going to conclude the tutorial on using object isolation.